our teaching staff are, uh, all have industry experience, so we have a, 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 an academic who teaches script writing who is also a professional script writer. We have um, myself who used to work in film distribution, we have people who used to work in film journalism, so the academics have both experience on both sides of the, of the divide. We like to get industry experts in to, to help with our teaching, so on courses where there is a real practical industry, industry focus, we get people in, we get a film producer in to talk about producing films, we get a lighting person in to talk about how to do lighting rigs. Um, this makes our job a lot easier and it makes it a lot more interesting for the students and a lot more industry relevant really. Our teaching expertise, a lot of it draws on our sort of pre previous industry experience. Um, so uh, Paolo Russo, who teaches screenwriting, is still a professional screenwriter in his other life. We have Alison Kahn, who's a, a professional documentary filmmaker, also teaches here. So we like to think that our staff have no uh, understand the industry and can bring that into, into the classroom and help really help the students on that side. I know that industry thinks highly of our students from the kind of feedback we get from work placements. Um, they, they're often praised for their good basic industry knowledge and their, um, their real ability to, to learn quickly, their sort of passion for learning new situations. To give a couple of concrete examples, we had a student who three years ago applied for an internship at um, Universal Pictures in, in London, at the London, the London base office for Universal Pictures. This was a year-long paid internship in between his second and third year. Um, he was so impressive on the job that they decided to offer it only to book students from that point onwards. And he's now also working full-time at the company. Um, we also have a, a more local example. We have a good relationship with the Phoenix Picture House Cinema here in Oxford. And we send four students a year to them on work placement. Um, and last, a uh, couple of months ago, one of our former students got a full-time job as a marketing assistant at Phoenix, so there's a real there's a real link, there's a real through path there from placement to actual career. We have very good long established links with industry at Brooks. We've been doing we've been running work placements for five, six years now, so we have a good bank of companies that students can work for. Um, in recent years students have done placements on films like Skyfall and uh, Slumdog Millionaire, uh, TV shows like Downton Abbey and Skins, so really high profile prestigious productions. Um, students have all also been on work placement for companies including the BBC, Eon Productions, Channel 4, all, all the major production companies in, in film and TV in the UK. Yeah, our students after they graduate we find that we like to stay in touch with them through social media. Whilst they're here we use Facebook groups which work really well as, as a way of advertising opportunities and keeping social events going. Uh, once they leave, we tend to use LinkedIn, which is a more sort of professional version of Facebook, and, we, and through that we can keep track of what everyone is doing, and we're building up a big bank of alumni through that. Um, so through that, that source, I know for a fact that uh, some of our students have set up their own production companies. This may just be them or, or a couple of friends setting up their own company, making things like music videos or training videos for industry. We also have a recent graduate who is working as a freelance makeup artist. Um, for films, for film production at Pinewood Studios. So she's working her way up through the ranks and she's doing really well. As far as companies that students have gone on to work for, I, men I mentioned Universal already. We have students who also work in, um, at small media companies like Icon Films, Beat TV, or at larger corporations um, like Universal Studios. Um, mo not all of our students end up working directly in media, but a lot of their jobs uh, have a sort of creative element. And we find that even if students um, are doing a, an office job that's not necessarily direct, directly related to film, often they'll be called upon to use their skills in, say, video production and editing to produce material for company websites and things like that. So these days those skills are not just confined to the film industry, they're very much part of a, a package for the modern workplace. Our staff in film studies are all, we're all active researchers and Many of us work in fields related to, to popular cinema, so the kind of films that audiences actually go and see and, and enjoy and, and most people have heard of. Um, we have researchers working in fields of crime television and, uh, and popular cinema, uh, British cinema, film and TV, uh, film, film related tourism, um, alongside uh, more traditional areas like film theory, 
uh, one of our academics recently published a, a huge encyclopedia covering the whole of film theory from A to Z. And we are currently trying to get projects moving which combine everyone's research experience into you know, exciting projects moving forward. Um, we often find that our best and keenest students and the ones that do best after university are the ones that really throw themselves in to everything that university life has to offer, not just the course, but also the extracurricular work. So we have a, a, a student film society here at Brooks where students get together and screen their favourite films using the university facilities. Our technical specialist has his own small production company and he's working on short films and he likes to get students involved in that. Uh, there's also an arts association which has been set up this year which is designed to get students from across the three fields talking to each other more and working together on, on projects outside of the course. So we hope that, say, music students will be able to compose and write scores for our students' films and that the art students will be able to do art design, costume design and so on. So there's a lot of potential there for, for students to, to, to really get the best out of each other and that's what we're trying to encourage.